What is going on guys? Jeremy here, Nasty2SS. As you can see, already sweating in the garage, doing some work to the Camaro. Well, as you can see, this is the exhaust that's supposed to go in the car. That's not Playboy, that's Sports Illustrated from the 70s and 80s. Got work gave me those, uh, disregard. Here's a solo performance muffler with the built-in Mach X pipe. Here's the old one that I've got on. It's actually off right now. And basically, I mean, we got everything off, so it is open long tubes and a, a monster cam. Monster-ish. It's a baby monster. But we're going to go ahead and fire this thing up real quick. Going to run to the gas station. When we get back, we're going to do a quick little how-to on how to uh, drain and refill the rear end on this car. Don't judge me. You can see there's royal purple right there. We'll get to that in a minute. <laughs> <laughs> we'll get right back to that but we're gonna go uh, start this up take it down the road real quick um, so hang tight for a cold start That sound louder than normal? He was calling Bezel. My family lost everything. Can't focus. I don't know how I should answer that. Was it? I definitely heard it. It was loud. It didn't sound like your car. Oh, it was mine. What did you do to it? I'm putting my muffler back on to make it quieter. I just want to drive it down the road without it. Okay. So, okay. It sounded good. It sounded like a NASCAR. All right, guys. So what we're gonna do? Is go ahead and replace the uh, fluid in the rear end on this. Got one quart of Royal Purple. This should be the Max Gear. Yep, Max Gear. It's supposed to have a friction modifier in it, but I saw on the forums. Um, that's kind of a crock of doo doo. So, uh, just in case, got some Transex um, limited slip gear oil additive. Gonna put that in there. And then we've got our little quart and gallon fluid pump thing, which you can't see. Mm -hmm. I don't know. Guys, say it worked. We'll just we'll do that first, and if it needs any, um, we'll put it in. I'm missing a hurt to add it to it. So. Super easy. Uh, three quarters ratchet, three quarters extension, which we might not even need this, but uh, just go ahead and get under the car and get to it. All right, guys. So hopefully you can see this. This is going to be our fill plug. This is going to be our drain plug. Um, you can actually see how much it. Well, you can't see, but you can kind of feel how much fluid is in there um, by removing the fill plug. So we're going to do that first. In all honesty, it shouldn't leak a whole lot from this one. But depending on how much uh, the guy who did my gear install put in it. There should be a little rubber grommet on this too. And these are magnetic, so you will be able to tell if there's metal. And honestly, I'm, I'm kind of expecting it. What do you think? Mm, probably a little bit at least. Very full. Oh my god. Yeah, there's metal. Yeah, there's a little bit of metal right there. Yeah, not much though. I mean, not bad as I thought. Yeah, it's not as bad as I thought. Man. That's break in. 
tilt that down a little. Uh, guys, I don't know if you guys can even see this, but... Um, it's not going out real fast, though, is it? Yeah. Well, that's just a film one. So at least we know there's plenty of fluid in it. You can kind of stick your pinky in here or whatever finger you can get. Should be okay. Did the O-ring come out with it? Yeah, it's still on the uh. Now I'm really curious about to see um, the metal when we actually pull the drain plug. So that'll be interesting. Now I don't know how much this is gonna fly out, but yeah. All right. Anyways, whatever. Next thing I'm gonna do: pull the drain plug. There we go. That's what I want to see. Ooh, look at it, man. How dark it is. That's pretty gross. That's not looking good. Not in my opinion. See some metal in there? Uh, yeah. Some fine flakes in it. See the sparkling? Oh, yeah. That's how gray it is, too. Yeah. That's how gray it is. Hi, right, guys. <clears throat> Whoever installs your gears, if they tell you you don't need to drain this after 500 miles, uh, you definitely do. And get all this gunk and crap out. Uh, Cause when those gears start going, obviously it's new stuff, metal on metal. So here's here's the metal and crap all over this. JJ's got his gloves on still, so. You can see good on it. Yeah, wipe it off. That don't look too pretty. Yeah. You didn't really see how the metal flake inside. Yep. Yeah. The flashlight can probably get some of the sparkle off of it. Yeah, shine a light. Mm -hmm. It's the button and everything. Oh yeah. See how the sparkle right now? Which that. I would say is normal. That is the whole point of changing this after what, 500 to 1,000 miles after the install. Mm -hmm. So this is probably something we caught at a pretty good time. Yeah, it's the top one right here. And I might honestly have to change it again just to see. Mmm. It's all sludgy. That's all metal. Yeah. All right, so here we go. Got our little pump on here. Gonna go ahead and uh, put some fluid back in the rear end. Got some friction modifier as well. I think JJ has. Uh, yeah, Where'd it go? Oh, it was down there. So yeah, so uh, it says just put this whole thing in. I've never used this. Um, and this says it already has friction modifier in it on the royal purple. It says it on the front, but when you read it on the back, it doesn't say anything about it. That's what gets me. It didn't say anything yeah. about having modifier in it. So we'll see. Put your drain plug back in the bottom. Just for the record, Woo. they're both the JJ same plug. JJ just hit my dick. I'm sorry. <laughs> just for the record, they are the same bolt, same plug. But, you know, Jeremy really wanted to make sure we kept them separate, so he put the same one back in there. I'm anal about that. But they are the same one. Same thread, same length, everything. I'm just going to give it a nice little snug pull, and that should be good. Now, I'm not sure. About Royal Purple, I know it says it has it, but yeah. I'm gonna put about half of this in there. That's that feels about right. Yeah, it feels about half. Yeah. All right, guys. Now we're just gonna pump this in. Should have primed it. <laughs> yeah, I was gonna say, are you sure? Are we gonna pump it in? There we right, go. Yeah. As promised by Royal Purple, it is purple. Just how many strokes does it take to get to the bottom of a Royal Purple bottle? Yeah. Can you still feel it coming through? Yeah. Dude, it looks a lot better than the old it came out, doesn't it? Yeah, that's for damn sure. guys and just tighten everything back down all right so we got the uh, the new gear oil back in and now basically what we're gonna do I don't know if we're even gonna let's just not even film this we're just gonna put the uh, solar performance exhaust back on I've kind of been advertising on my channel that I've been rocking it I haven't I mean I've got the uh, the system I just don't have the muffler in um, which they've got a really cool, uh, it's called a Mach X muffler. 
where there's basically an X pipe built into the muffler. Um, we're going to put that back on, make the car a little bit quieter. Uh, at the same time, give it some good tone. The exhaust does sound amazing. Um, and you can go back to my other videos. I've got, I think I got one or two videos with the, the muffler actually on. But most of it, I'm just running a straight X pipe. So we're going to go ahead and do that. Put the exhaust back on. Take it for a drive. See if this uh, Royal Purple did the trick. Um, I don't think it had anything to do with the gear oil, but it definitely needed to be replaced anyways. But this friction modifier too. Um, it says right here, prevents chattering, jerking, and slipping which is uh, some of the symptoms that I am having. So, um, yeah, we're gonna put this exhaust back on. See you guys in a little bit. Check this out. So me and Jeremy have this you know, disagreement here. I think his car sounds better with the exhaust on and not straight pipe. Listen. See how much deeper that is? Tell us in the comments. Sounds like crap. Tell us in the comments. Which, which, which way sounds better? Yeah, it sounds a lot better uh, without a muffler to me. Anyways. No. No. So we just went and took it for a test drive. Tried to hear that noise. Extremely weird. I don't even know. All right, guys. Damn, bald as hell. I forgot my hat. Whatever. So I think we figured out where the noise was coming from. Pretty sure the car is going to need a clutch and a new drive shaft, which obviously we'll be upgrading both. Um, basically what we were doing is we would put the car in first gear. Um, we had all four tires off the ground, held in the clutch, spun the back tires. You could automatically hear the drive shaft. Uh, that was a no brainer. Um, the second part, not hundred percent sure. And I didn't get any footage on it in neutral. If you spin, uh, the back tire, you do not hear any clutch noise, anything like that. And first gear foot on the clutch, everything engaged, basically spin the wheel almost sounded like what the springs and the uh, pressure plate yeah, like scrubbing yeah like scrubbing noise like yeah you, you could hear it scrubbing no, it definitely sound like flush the, the uh, pressure plate was uh, scrubbing yes the, the flywheel or something like that and then of course the drive shaft is automatic it's two piece drive shaft shaft with 500 euro horsepower is definitely giving out um it's got so much pain it's popping pop yeah the, popping like ends, crazy believe it or not the ends are fine you know we're just got the rag joints at so right in the center where that yoke is at, or that union is at, that's where it's given at. So, so what, you know, with the drive shaft it being a two-piece, uh, it's a lot of play in the center part. The rag joints on each end of it were fine, but in the center it's definitely giving. Uh, the other issue, of course, would be in the pressure plate scrubbing uh, when the car is in here, and it's actually got load on it. I got a question for you guys, and I'm sure Jeremy's going to want to know too. You guys who have changed out your clutch, what are you guys running? What do you recommend? Um, are you using spec? Are you using McLeod? Are you using uh, Center Force? I don't know if Center Force got one for the 15. I don't know. Uh, but what are you guys running? Uh, what do you guys think about what you've got? You know, give us some information about what you guys have going on. What you think about it? You know, let's hear some word of mouth of how what you think about clutches, so Jeremy can help him make a decision on what he wants to get for that. Um, you guys that are running a, a one-piece drive shaft. Uh, you know, I got a DSS on mine, a aluminum drive shaft. What are you guys running? Are you running G Force? You running DSS? What do you guys got? What do you recommend? All right, guys. Also, www.nasty2ss.com is up. T-shirts are on there. Um, I could definitely use all the support uh, with these shirts, especially. Um, there's JJ in a Rav4. See that turbo? That's the turbo. Speaker. That's bad right there. Yeah. This thing's all wheel drive. Though. It's awesome. I bet it moved pretty good. You have to get <laughs> So, like I was saying, guys, um, obviously working in the kind of job I work and not having tons of money, a little hard to uh, get the funds to get the car fixed up. So, um, I don't know. But that is it. Going to kind of end this off on a depressing note. Car is going to have to go to the shop at some point, um, get everything figured out and basically confirmed. Man, sucks. So any support guys you can give, really do appreciate it. 
it's just, uh, I know that's the game you got to play, man, when you start doing mods to a car, but clutching the drive shaft and all that, you know, 39,000 miles, it just, it sucks. Anyways, guys, thanks for watching. See you next time.